Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei. Today, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, what we're going to be looking at is dynamic query referencing. And by that, we are actually going to use dynamic query referencing to dynamically append various data sets. So let me show you how to do it. All right, so in Power Query, we have four queries that we want to append. Let's just pretend for this session, for the sake of this demonstration, that we had to do four separate queries because we had to clean up the data and we had to go by different ways to get there. But now we want to append these four queries. So how you would normally do it, if you do it manually, is you would go to append and you would say append new, and you have three or more tables, one, two, three, and you'll just add them and you'll say, okay. But now what you literally did is you hard coded all of that. We don't wanna do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that dynamically by using an awesome little Power Query function called sections. All right, so I'm gonna delete this, quickly show you. So let's start a blank query. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And now we're gonna say equals to, and we're gonna say sections. So what this gives us, it gives us a record. And as you can see, this record basically gives us the content of our Power Query, uh, all the queries. So it's telling us, um, holding one, that is a query with a table. It's calling it a section. And you can see query one, which is the query we're looking at, is a record. Yeah, okay, cool. So it basically gives us what's going on in our Power Query. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna re return this as a record. So I'm just gonna say, you can see that's called section one. I'm just gonna put in there section one. So what it does now, it returns it as a table. So you can see if I click there, holding one, there's the table. Holding two, there's the table, three and four. This one is an error because it's a cyclical, because I'm inside of it. So it's a cyclical reference. We're gonna get to that later. All right, so now if I wanna do anything with this, I need to convert this to a table. Record to table. I'm going to transform this record into a table. So now we actually have a transformed into a table. Right. What I want to do is you can see I have a little pattern here. My pattern is I have text starting with holding. All right. So what I can do is I can say filter out. It's a text filters, anything that begins with holding. All right, okay, I used uh, all lowercase letters, but it's all um, proper case. But what I'm gonna do is, just to make sure, I'm just gonna say, just to take the case sensitivity off, I'm gonna say comparer, ignore case. Cool, so now we've ignored the case essentially. And now all I do is, I just expand this, whoop, and there we actually, have a dynamically appended query. You can just see the possibilities here. Isn't that excellent? Well, I hope this helped you and I hope you think of other solutions. It really helped me. Be a sensei. Ah.